welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Can you guess where I am right now? I'm actually standing on a frozen lake, on frozen Lake Akan, the one I visited during my previous two trips to Hokkaido back in September and October in 2022. There were two trips, one late summer trip and an autumn trip to see the autumn colors. If you haven't seen those vlogs, please go check them out. They are in my playlist of uh, English vlogs. And uh, this time I'm going to take you with me on another five-day adventure in this area of Eastern Hokkaido and we're going to explore a lot of uh, winter activities that you can try here, especially on this lake. They made like a, a nice land, Akan it's called, and you can try many fun activities. You can go fishing from the lake, you can go on a banana boat, you can uh, go snowshoe walking, so many things and actually winter might be the best season to come here most famous for winter so and the famous uh, powder snow of Hokkaido we're going to experience many fun things so I'm excited to share them with you so keep watching if you want to see some exciting winter adventures so hard to move with this big big jacket this is a Haneda Express train bound for Haneda Airport Terminal 2. It stops at Haneda Airport Terminal 3, Haneda Airport Terminal 1, and Haneda Airport Terminal 2. But I'm going to see snow. I have like, I think I am prepared for the cold. For the, I heard there could be uh, like minimum minus 20 degrees. So I don't think I have ever experienced that, or maybe once, but I'm not sure. So I'm super excited. Let's see. I'm uh, excited for this trip, the last one of the Hokkaido project, the winter trip. I'm a bit sad this project will be over soon. But it's probably the trip I've been waiting for the most because winter in Hokkaido is the best. So yeah, let's go. ではね、フロカ。イクンカンとモシリカムイ、ハントフロカムイ。モシリカラカムイ、イカッカラカムイ、アペカムイ、ワッカウチカムイ。オンカミアナ。
ウェアもスキー板もレンタルをしております。This is the famous Turuga Hotel, probably the best hotel here. And we got to use the onsen by staying at their little other hotel, Hanayuka. It was so good. Unfortunately, I cannot show it to you, but it was so good.
海道っぽい。Got my hat inside. So it's so cold, minus 17 degrees here at Lake Akan. But look, they have those beautiful winter projection mapping. at the Lake Akan Kotan village and I just got my uh, guava lassi. I love guava flavor so much so this is so good. I also had it when we first came here in September so I'm gonna try it. It's so good so highly recommend if you come here try their uh, guava lassi and so their specialty is soup curry if you come to hokkaido you have to try soup curry and the one here is really good and they also have jomon jomon soup curry one uh, soup curry with um shika actually deer meat venison meat so yeah i highly recommend that if you come here so this is pros and sashimi it looks very good and i also got the warm soup because it's so cold outside and the soup has uh, deer venison meat and it's supposed to be very soft because they boiled it for six hours according to what's written on the menu and this is the i'm so excited to try both so let's try the frozen sashimi it looks very good i tried actually i tried the salmon one before but this one is a white type of fish let's see dip it in a bit of soy sauce and wasabi like here it is Mm. Mm. It's so cold because it's frozen, so good. Very good. It's an interesting uh, feeling because it melts in your mouth. Mm. Mm. The weather today was perfect for snowshoe walking and we are walking on a frozen lake right now. It's actually the frozen lake Akan and we walked to this island behind me called Oshima 
from the bokeh, from the Madhu volcanoes. And uh, it's a very good activity, a very good, uh, it will make you hungry and uh, you will make some exercise because it's not easy to walk. Um, because there is quite a bit of snow piled up over the lake. In the forest there are places with even uh, 50 centimeters of snow. But here our guide said that because of the wind, there's not that much snow. But I believe there are about 10 centimeters or 20 something like that very nice and we were lucky with the weather because I think that if it would have been like a snowstorm you wouldn't be able to see every anything around you so yeah it was perfect And every year in February, there is also an important festival taking place here at Lake Akan. It's called the Utasa Matsuri or the Utasa Festival. And this year is taking place in the first weekend of February. So we also came here to attend this festival, a festival that combines Ainu music with also, they invite also famous artists and they collaborate to create a beautiful festival. So I'm super excited about it and I can't wait to see it. Unfortunately, for the past two Two years because of the pandemic it was cancelled so this is the first time in a while that they are going to hold it with uh, people from the outside uh, last year from what I've heard they they still held it but only with the artists and with media people so um, normal people couldn't uh, attend the festival last year <music> According to local people, it's not that bad, not that cold. Uh, but uh, even Hokkaido people said that what is lower than minus 10 is actually cold. But for Tokyo people, minus 16, wow! And for normal people, the, but actually the lowest it can get here, uh, I've heard from local people, it can get as low as minus 27, something like that. And now, right now I'm waiting for my cup ramen to uh, freeze. I've seen uh, a lot of people, uh, a lot of Japanese people on social media do this. So I'm really curious um, to see how long it will take to freeze. <laughs> this is my frozen ramen, kind of. This is how it froze. Actually, it's not that cold today. There, uh, the plate here says minus 16, but I think this is not an automatic plate. So this is the temperature from last night, and according to my iPhone, they are minus around minus 10 degrees right now. So it's not that cold. So yeah, it's not perfectly frozen yet, but I really, it's really fun having to try this. Look, <laughs> I wish it was more stable here. Yeah, this is my attempt at freezing cup ramen After one hour of waiting, it's here. Wow, another one! Yay! Yeah. 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 Yeah
。あと、スウェットを差し上げてください。はい、お願いします。はい、<笑>座って待っちゃっていいですか。座ってていいですか。はい、あ、どうぞ。はい、<笑>いいね、何回もいいねえかな。一<笑>匹だけ釣ったことにして。<笑><笑>いいですね。<笑>いいですね。<笑>
morning from frozen lake akan we woke up for sunrise this morning at 5 30 a.m sunrise now in winter here is at 6 30 a.m and the landscape here is so beautiful but also very very cold uh, the lake the lake is frozen i'm standing on frozen lake and there are parts that are not frozen because there is the onsen water there and there is a very interesting phenomena that uh, there are some frosty flowers on those parts that are not frozen super interesting there are also parts where you can see ice bubbles but you have to remove the snow and there's a big layer of snow so i'm not sure we're gonna see ice bubbles today but the frosty flowers were so beautiful and my my hair is also frosty right now it freeze so uh, we are uh, doing a fun activity this morning we are throwing uh, hot water to make some special effects it's super fun but i have to move a bit so i don't freeze i think there are currently around minus 19 degrees something around like that it doesn't feel that cold anymore actually minus 10 degrees yesterday it didn't feel cold anymore it's like usual warm actually minus 20 is it's cold it's cold but it's bearable we can stay outside i didn't think i could stay outside more than a half an hour but now i can so yeah unfortunately this is our last day here uh, the last day of our winter trip it was such a fun trip with so many activities so many activities you can do here in winter and i've seen more tourists this time also because japan reopened its borders but i was happy to see uh, big groups of tourists around visiting uh, this area they are probably on a tour around hokkaido and also visiting the mount uh, the lake akan area the mount, mount oakan so if you also have the chance please add this place to your bucket list and if you have to choose a season i think winter is the best winter but also summer and the autumn are also very beautiful all seasons are beautiful here but maybe winter is the most special here because you can do many unique activities i think and compared to when I visited in September and October, now there are definitely more foreign tourists here and from many different countries. And behind me there is a wall where you can write different things and uh, they are written in many languages. I see here, I also see here from Taiwan, I see English, I see uh, a lot of languages. So it's very nice that uh, there are more people coming to this area right now because Japan opened these borders on October 10th and I guess uh, Hokkaido is really popular now in winter so yeah I'm really happy to see it being very popular and this is the place where they do the fireworks every day from 8 p.m. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and see you again on the next adventure. Bye!